Welcome to day 62 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today we're gonna check out how to disable scrolling that happens in the background when a button is clicked. So for example, when your menu is opened, when the user scroll, while the menu is open, there is no background scrolling happening. So we're gonna use the FinSuite disable scroll attribute and it's uh, super easy to install, super easy to set up. We're gonna see how to do that. Let's jump to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey. Okay, so there are different use cases to this. Um, in our case here, I don't think I have a menu here, so this doesn't really apply. But let's say you have a menu, you have a drop down, you have a pop up, you have a section that you want to let the user not be able to scroll in the background or if they scroll nothing in the background changes so that when they get out of that pop-up or when they close that menu they go back to where they were on the page at that moment so in order to do that i'm just going to display it in a very simple way using buttons so let's just make these buttons and we're going to use the fit suite scroll disable attributes so if you go on the FinSuite page attributes, there is a feature called or a solution called disable scrolling. We copy this uh, script for it. We go to our page settings and we paste it here. Uh, we can save this and then we go to the docs. So what we need to do is add this attribute to the element that will disable scroll. So it's in our case, it's this button white element that says disable scroll. We'll just add this attribute to it. We'll, it will say scroll disable element, and then it will have the value of disable. So now this disables the scroll once clicked. Let's test that. Let's go to the live site. Let's go to the section. So when you click it, there is no more scroll so you see even the scroll bar is gone no more scroll but now we need to bring the scroll back so we'll have the next button say enable so you add this attribute if you want to enable scroll so you want another button to enable scroll so let's say this is open menu and then inside open menu there is a button that says close menu and this close menu is where scroll is enabled again uh, there are more attributes to this like this gets into detail depending on your design There's a toggle one that is the same. Let's say if the menu button is the same for you. So you just uh, Use toggle. So on the first click it disables it on the second click it enables it uh, There is visible one visible. So when your pop-up is visible uh, We disable scrolling uh, this one is for the nav bar, so this is like a smart nav thing. So you just add it and it knows when the menu is opened, there is no scrolling in the background. When the menu is closed, it works. So let's uh, test this. So yeah, if we, if we test this now, this will disable scroll, this will enable scroll again. And... Um, this is disabling scrolling by FinSuite attributes. Really, really useful. Can come in handy whenever you need it. And it's so light on the website, it doesn't even uh, weigh anything. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Thank you, FinSuite, for providing these awesome attributes for us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey, give this video a like if you liked it, and see you tomorrow in day 63.